Today, we're going to add some Simpro photo etch details to the Stein Time build along and finish it out. Not So Average Builder is brought to you by these great retailers. There'll be promo codes in the description below. We're going to find places for these bad boys. A couple of places that I think are definitely going to be in these little. Uh, Circular recesses. We're nearing the uh, home stretch on this. We get this matte coat done and we'll talk about it. Uh, re upped on super glue. We can go to the final part. And then we can talk about the kit itself, what I've done, how I've done it, and how you can do it yourself. So what we're going to work on is we're going to, because these are what we're supplied, this is what we have to work with. This is the Simpro 05-00-707B photo etch parts. You get these from USA Gundam Store and SimproModels.com. So the way these start out as far as sizes go, and there are different sizes depending on the, uh, item number at the top uh, but this starts at 3.7 millimeters 4.1 millimeters and goes all the way up to 4.5 some of the simpro uh, photo etch parts have four separations as far as sizes go so that means you just get less of each size but what we're going to be working with is the 4.5 now i did pull this out and tried to put one in here which is where we're going to work on so we're going to put one of these on either side of the leg and we're going to possibly put some right here just for you know giggles because it looks good so we'll work on this side first what you're going to need you need a hobby knife just to make things easier a pair of tweezers again a better pair is going to work a lot better and i'm going to use a paper clip a toothpick will work all you're going to need is just something to uh, basically dab the super glue onto the back of this to make sure because regular glue is not going to work with this you need super glue and lastly you will need a piece of cardboard that's going to be where your super glue goes so normally i would have you dry fit uh, so basically see where your piece is going to fit i've already done this but it is a little smaller than this area that's okay as long as we get it centered it will look good if you get it off to the side it's not going to look as good so how these work and this is something really cool. You have film on both sides. So if you are going to work with one piece, don't peel the film from the top and then try and start at the bottom because you won't get the film back. But what you'll do is you'll take and push underneath. So what I do is I push it up just a little bit. You don't want to bend the piece to get a little lip. And take your tweezers, pop the piece off. Now all the other pieces are going to stay on there just fine. Set that right there. We're going to take our super glue. Put a little dollop right there. And if I had some easier way to put this, I would. But the easiest way would be to just take a little bit of the super glue. And just a dab. Nothing major. You don't want a whole lot. Take your part and drop it where you need it to go. Once you get it lined up, press firmly, and this is where a a uh, hobby knife or a toothpick might come into play a little bit easier. So you can get it centered. There you go. Get it centered and leave it. A thin super glue would probably work a little bit better. 
Um, you can drop it in there afterwards and kind of fill the gap behind it. Or you could even take some Milliput or a two-part epoxy and place that on there because it is a curved surface. It's not going to want to stay. You're going to have just that piece in the center, but it's okay. So let's do the other side. Same principle. You can do it with a hobby knife as well. Pop this out. If you're going to use a hobby knife, be careful. Take a little bit. Drop it down in there. Now it is stuck to my finger. So that can play into your advantage. Once it touches the super glue, it will stay on the super glue side. And then let that dry. Once that dries, it'll be locked in there and you won't have to worry about it anymore. Or we could just put these right here, which is probably a safer bet. I don't think that that's going to work very well in there, especially since these look the same. So let's take, go from the top. And because it is a, uh, a tape underneath this, you can, uh, put it back. It's not going to be perfect like it was where it will stay, but it is a possibility to look at that. I'm going to put that there. Do the same thing. Just a little dab. You don't want to put too much super glue because if it leaks out then you're going to be in for a bad time. And then do your best to press it down. And that is how you add simple details to your kits and make them look that much more attractive. Now this is a very tight area, but I think we can make it work. Because photo etch parts are very small, or very thin, should be able to wedge this underneath here it should help hold it in place and it locks it where it needs to go and that's how you do it that's how you add little metallic details to your kits but they don't take up a whole lot of room so the only thing that i'm missing on this kit uh the weapons done i did not do the bazooka and i didn't do the beam sabers because it just didn't seem like a beam saber kit um are the hands. These Master Grade 2.0 hands or 3.0 hands, they suck. Uh, the wrist snapped on this one and this won't hold anything to save its life. So I am waiting on Adam to send me a replacement pair for this. But other than that, I'm calling this kit 100% done and ready to go. You saw the little highlights that I put on there. Uh, may or may not be crazy about them. I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me once I start doing final final shots of this. But here it is. I don't have a fancy turntable. I need to get one desperately. So if anybody has a lead on one or has one they're not using, uh, this guy, well, whatever. I need one. Um, but yeah. Again, we started out with a uh, five colors. Uh, we had barley gray, dark sea gray, field blue, bright blue, and then the toss-up was signal red. We had these uh, resin upgrades, and we had Simpro uh, photo etch parts. These are the only extra parts we could use. Um, Adam did say that we could add a little extra colors into the main armor, but the main armor had to be comprised of all of those colors. That's it. So the only extra colors I added in were the Mr. Metal Color uh, Brass and Mr. Surfacer 1500 Black. That's it. Everything else was part of those colors. This is Barley Gray, transition into Mr. Surfacer 1500. The armor is comprised of uh, bright blue with uh, a mixture of the Barley Gray mixed in, and it allowed it to 
do subtle transitions. Uh, the decals are what came on the kit. The only thing that I used extra was, to me, extra thin for some parts, your tweezers, hobby knife, a good pair of nippers, and I do have the USA Gundam ones. Those will be uh, coming up on a review. Been using these for a couple months, so you'll get to see what these are like. Uh, I did use the SMS Surfacer White because there was no stipulations on primer. And that's it. That's all I used. Oh, I'm sorry. And then the Microset and Microsoft from Microscale Industries. Everything else was, as you see, no extras, no customizing, no nothing other than the resin goodies and the photo etch parts. A big thank you again to Adam at USA Gundam Store for sponsoring this build with Gio and myself, for sending us the kits, the resin goodies, the paints, and the photo etched parts. Thank you. Thank you again for being awesome. I want to say thank you to Geo Builds for even doing the build along with me. It really means a lot to me, man. Uh, I've made a massive friend from this, so uh, shout out to another one of my sponsors, Simpro Models, for making these kick but photo edge details look at that all of those are on there you can't see them but you can and also a huge shout out to scale modeler supply for making some freaking awesome paints for putting tons of love into them they're amazing you guys keep doing what you're doing that's all i've got i'm gonna throw some after detail shots at the end so you can see but that's it guys i'm gonna officially call the stein time build along with geo builds done so if you guys have any questions drop a comment down below other than that have a wonderful day see you on the next build